mods. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've done that. It's been a while, but it's uh, it's relevant this time. It's actually for the, th the second time actually. Because yes. The because first time was for that. This great stuff. Yep. Turbo shake. And apparently we did quite a good job on that. So the guys at Babylon Vape. Well, it's either Wave or Babylon Vape. Can't actually work out. Yeah, much. they're different. But um, Eugene, the guy, uh, our contact, I suppose, friend, kind, buddy guy. Kindly sent us three yeah. mechanical mods from three. Russia. And um, we've opened two of them to have a look at. Now, these are obviously, uh, they've got to be like the baseline, you know, like Rogue have got their like clean yeah. line, and mm. then there's like engraved ones. So we've got one in aluminium. Nice button there, which is very, very light indeed. It's got to be aluminium. Yeah. Uh, this one, I'm guessing, is a coated brass, mm -hmm. which is slightly heavier. Again, the button's just there. And we have one that we haven't even opened. We'll yet. open that one in a second. We'll get to that in a minute. Which is lovely and great. I just want to, when we get into these, right? You you, caught, you noticed it the other day. Yeah. Right? Is when we get a lot of mods, yeah. we notice they're actually quite manky. Mm -hmm. Like, they can. But this here, I don't know if it come out very well. Oh, look at that, you had. It's actually. Oh. Clean. Beautiful. It's like they've been like, pre cleaned. Yeah, the contacts are all clean as well. Like And the machining is unbelievable. Smooth. Uh, uh, think, we think it's powder coat. Because well, it feels like it's ceramic, doesn't it? Yeah. Obviously, this one is heavier than that one because obviously it's different materials. Definitely. You, um, can, you can definitely feel the difference. But yeah. when it comes to quality, we've been vaping them for like a good couple of days. Mm. It's, it's next. They're both the same. Mm -hmm. Both yeah. really high quality. Amazing. They both hit hard. Even the aluminium was hitting hard yesterday. And I had a zero, what was it, a 0 0.1 build. Yeah. Same with you. And it's still hitting exactly um, the same. As you saw on the copper one, they come... Like Packeted. Yeah, they come like literally shrink wrapped. Shrink wrapped. And they come with this, and the only bit we can read is Bamboo Mod by Wave. Yes. Um, that came actually in the mech itself. Wrapped up. Um, a bit like how Endless do with that cloth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then some stuff there in Russian, which obviously we can't read. No. Um, that's those two, and we're going to vape those in a second, but we've saved we, this one. We also will show everything up and close in a minute when yeah. we take a look. Um, we've saved this one to open on camera. So I hold you cut. That off. I'm so excited about this. So we have a cloth. That is a cloth. I did wonder. I'm assuming this is some sort of polish or bra something like brasso. And it's. Oh. Yeah, it's like brasso. Is it? Yeah, I thought it was. Nice little pot of cleaning. Now I might as well show you guys before Connor sees because ah, he's been waiting days to see this. But yeah, I don't because yeah. it's such a bright, lovely day. It's gonna be hard for you to see, but it is a horse and a there's a it looks like an army guy Hurry or a farmer up. there, and he's got like it's a real strange design. I really like it. Oh my god! Look at these all these wrappers here. So this is completely different. That must be the way it's made to uh, the other two. I'm guessing. So unscrew some here. I will do an up to close in a second. Threads, man. Different button as well, isn't it? That looks like a silver plated contact inside there. Now this one's a bit new to us, so you have to bear with. We generally have literally you just see this open it, so we don't know what to expect from it. What are these? Insulator rings. Ooh, safety. The problem is it's all in Russian. Yeah. It's kinda hard to They uh, could be saying this is for display purposes only do not use. <laughs> but again, it's all in Russian. Yeah. Wave by Babylon Babe. Russian, which is really handy. Um, um, you can translate it on Google, um, but it's not a perfect translation because I've been on the website to do a bit of research on them. I'm also seeing the size of them, they are 18650. Yeah. Um, and it is, by the looks of it, 25 mil going into 24 because it's Druga 24. And as you can see there, that. So that's got to be 25 and then milled into 24. Yeah, because you see there's a little band there. Yeah. Um, we'll just grab a battery quickly. Sorry about the noise outside, guys. It's, uh, yeah, it's a busy great. day in town. But... So I think in this one's... This one, I think I did a... It was difficult because all the prices are in different currencies. See, what scares me with this button, I'm thinking that there should be, that's just going to fire, isn't it? I'm feeling like. Yeah, probably. That's probably what and it's then for. that adjusts for battery right on. Otherwise it would just auto fire, wouldn't it? Does anyone want me to find out? 
Mm, there's no juice in there. So. Bit of fires. Oh, I've tried burn it. I forgot that we didn't juice it. I did just Classic. see it. So basically, it comes with three adjustment rings for the battery that sit. Can take that a minute? Take the battery out. Right, so there's nothing there. And then you get these there. little, is it? Adjustment rings, uh, which obviously are interlinked as well. And I'm dropping stuff. Come here, wreck the shop. So that's quite good that they they have three different sizes depending on the size of your battery as well. Because some 18650s are actually longer are than they? the others. I didn't even yeah, know that. Yeah, I did. I did. Um, so yeah, taking up. We're gonna take a short, quick, uppy close see and have a look at see what these are all about. Sounds good. Mhm. Mm is that okay? I'm mate? just checking the battery. No, I don't think yeah. it is, mate. I think I need a rewrap. Well, I think it's got a bit of moisture in there, mate. Oh, not good. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. We've got more. Yeah. Right guys, we'll just be back in two seconds with a nice close-up view of it, so you can have a nice proper look at it, okay? Okay, see you in a second. Uh, three different styles here, so you've got the, this is, uh, from what I can tell, solid brass. Unfortunately, all the, everything was in Russian. Um, very simple to use, very easy and very stylish for what they are, to be fair. Um, it is, from what I can guess, 26mm and it slowly goes into 24 Makes a nice progression, from what you can see. Kinda looks a bit like... A carrot. <laughs> Thinking more of like a, from that angle, that, that way up, it's like a chair leg. Does a bit, doesn't and it? And then if it upwards, it's like a lighthouse or a bishop from a chess set. <laughs> so you got your, <laughs> so you got your brass and you got your aluminium here. The two different weights completely. And I'll talk about the other one in just a second. Um, the, honestly, the machining on these is absolutely perfect. It's a bit weird how the button does fly around a bit, but once you've got your battery in there, it makes no odds. Um, so very, very clean inside. I really like the finish on it. The finish is great. It's, it's, it's like a powder coat? Mm. I wouldn't say it's Cerakoted. It might be Cerakoted, but it's more like a powder coat, I see. So, very easy to use. All you've got to do is get your 18650. Obviously positive up because it's a hybrid connection. Then you get your battery, put that in. And I will show the, bat the uh, button in just a second. Screw that on. Screw your anti on, and away you go. Very simple. Very easy to use. The button sits there, just pushes, obviously. Um, so I'll just quickly show you the button, and then we'll move on to the last one. Now with this button, it's very interesting because it just sort of sits in there and then you tie this bit on, which is a bit different to other Macs. Um, you've got your copper button, two magnets, just there. And I'm guessing this is some sort of Delrin or... Do you know what, it's actually hard to tell what it is. But you push up and you can adjust with a little adjustment pin there to whatever you like, whether it's uh, you want a bit more pull in it or a bit more space. Um, that's kind of it really. That just slides in, out it goes on top and away you go. Very, very simple, very easy design, but it works really well. Now if we move those over there a second. While you're moving, I just mentioned that I've read online mm. that apparently the buttons are super safe. People carry them in their pockets and it's fine. Obviously we'd never but advise you, that. They would be, wouldn't they? Because mm. if you look, that's just, what can go wrong with that? Mm. Really like obviously, we'd never say leave a mech in your pocket. No, I personally wouldn't. But, but I know some people do, and if, if I was going to, looking at it, that's probably one that I would more likely trust than the other ones. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so moving over is, is the other one we got, which is fully, I'd say, etched or engraved. Laser. It looks like laser engraving, actually. Very, very smart. you got a horseman, a horseman there with a horse. There's a little man. I am like it. It's very Celtic, very... It looks like it goes through the ages, if you look it at it. It does a bit, yeah. Because you've got your horseman right here. And then at the top here, he's got a different kind of hat, head because he's got a bit missing there, which yeah. uh, looks, obviously looks intentional. If you spin it around a little bit more to the side one, he looks more like the Vietnamese soldier slash farmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it might be sort of a... What a strange Russia. creation from Russia, though. I know. It's... So these are very similar to these. Uh, the uh, actual hybrid connection is identical. You have got venting holes at the top there, so nice and safe if it does blow. It is going to vent out those holes and not your hand. Uh, the button itself is quite different, so we'll just unscrew that from there. Now, from what we can work out, obviously, normal. I'm guessing these are magnets, but I can't tell. I might see if I can take the button out, actually. This is where it all goes wrong. Because Connors has to fiddle. Hashtag Connor the Fiddler. That's a bit of a weird name, though, <laughs> isn't it? So yeah, apologies, guys. We have got Levi sitting in with me here, acting a bit odd. <laughs> okay, so this one's a spring, uh -huh. which is different. Now, unfortunately, obviously, this has actually got some natural patina. This is a brand new product, but it will need a clean. Just normal for brass and copper, but I'd say 
this is copper. Definitely looks yeah, and feels like it. it's copper. It smells like copper. It's got to be. Look at that solid button though. That is absolute. It's quality. Absolute quality. Your spring. Again, absolutely just insanely good. Really mega impressed with this. But very simple. That goes in. That goes in. And then you have to struggle to get your screw back in. Because I've only got massive hands. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Probably just going to struggle. Yeah, guys, while Connor fixes that, we will go back up top. Yep. Slam a Druger on it. Slam a Druger on it. And see how it, see how it vapes. One thing I did want to say before we just I'll run up there and mm -hmm. show people the Druger is these free insulator rings. Do you want to explain oh, yes. how they work? Well, from what you've told me, because I was unaware of this, some 18650 batteries are different sizes. So you see certain ones. Certain ones, yes. You can see they're all the same diameter. But it's more for just adjusting battery rail. But the thickness on them all is uh, slightly different. Oh, there we go. They see a slightly different. And then that one as well. Yeah. A bit like a polo mint. It's a very good idea to have those in there. All you gotta do, drop it in. That's it. And you've got a safe battery. Obviously, it depends on which size you use. I'm using the middle one out of the two because that thick one's gonna be too much. Um, we'll go back up top and give it a vape. Simple as that. So, we baffled on a lot. It's there time. was a lot of talking, but I finally got the uh, engraved one back together. <laughs> so in order, I'm going to do the engraved one, and then the standard brass, and then the aluminium last. Do a bit of a comparison. Yeah. Got the Druga there with a VTC 5A. Yes. 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 Uh, which battery's in there? Yeah, VTC 5A. Yeah, it is, yeah. 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 So we're just going to have a little hit of each, and just see what we think. See how they all compare. It's nice and hard. Saying we haven't used this one yet because obviously you just watch us unwrap it. That juice is weird. Not my kind of juice. It's a good power for it though, isn't it? Yeah. That could be just because I've eaten a bacon and stuff and sandwich, but that juice does taste weird. What are you thinking? It's good. Happy with that? I like it. I think we should try out next the just standard brass with the. Brass I'm gonna go with it's Cerakoted. I don't know, it just kind of feels like it's Cerakoted. I might be wrong. One battery for you. Battery. Oh no, I need to put the drill on first. I would, mate. To adjust for. Do we, do we even mech, bro? Do we even mech, bro? Do I like the drill on Max. But just a quick shout out to Eugene again for sending these out. This is. Um, Actually, one of our first packages we've actually had for free, yeah. which is very nice, very kind of him. Um, I must say that none of our videos are actually sponsored; they are literally. No, we pay for everything. Nine times out of ten, we pay for it, and then occasionally we get these lovely gifts like this. Please juice it. A bit more juice. Get the juice in. The button's completely different on that. Is it? It's more springy. Even, Even though that's got a string, spring, this yeah. has got <laughs> magnets. <laughs> Liking it. Bloody same juice. Same. Ha we haven't cleaned the contacts Not. yet, so no. might, they might need cleaning to be fair. But it hits alright for me. I think it comes through better on the copper one. It does a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. But you know, copper is proper and copper does hit harder. As they always say. But it's all down to the contacts, really. Yeah, we'll get the contacts clean later. But. There's not a lot in it, no. It's no, not. They're all fairly similar, to be honest. They're not. Yeah. They all hit the same. They all act the same. Um, let's try the aluminium because this is the this is the one that everyone says that. Oh no, mate! It don't hit hard. <laughs> we'll find out then. We'll find so out these are then, please. They are fully charged batteries as well. Yep. Um, they've been on charge this morning. Made sure they were ready to rock. So essentially, it should be fine. Yeah. So they've only had what six hits on it. So if a battery's going flat after that, shock it. <laughs> shock the battery. <laughs> The weight difference is unbelievable though. I mean obviously like aluminium is light as hell anyway, but it's just weird. That's down to a preference thing though, isn't it? It is down to Do you a like a heavy thing. mod or do you like a light one? I like heavy. Do you? Yeah. So you might like to know that I've got it in my hand. Yeah, my, uh, I was, when I was playing with them last night, I know it's like this one is heavier than my revolver. If anything and my that deckle. hits harder than the fucking brass. Really? Instant. Same build, same batteries, everything. I just feel like that hits a bit harder. More consistent, but that might just need a contact clean. Could be, yeah. a thread clean. 
It is different. It is slightly different. But all in all, honestly, mega impressed. Russian made. I like it. A bit different. Because everything these days is either made in China or it's made in America. Really. America. We get much over in it's England. Like, we get a little bit over it, don't we? We get products that are assembled in England. Yeah. Like Endless is assembled in England. But England, England. <laughs> can't talk England. But Russian mechs. There's something different. I like it. I like them. So yeah, that's the something three of them. oozes quality. Mm, no, it doesn't. And I'm not just saying that because we were sent them, but they generally feel nice. They do. They, I, the, the way this like, feels, it, it does it. Uh, I just really like the feel of it. Mm. You know, definitely. Is it Cerakote or powder coat? It's got to be Cerakote, doesn't it? But it does it. Just, I love it. I That's really do like it. the problem with having things from Russia because the translation is just dreadful. <laughs> yeah. No offence to Eugene, it's just one of those things, isn't it? No, he's, he is sending some information over, but we decided to crack on and record anyway because we're quite eager to have if a If we get it in time, we'll just put it in the description. Yeah, well, I'll put it on the description anyway, I usually do with the... Uh... But go and check them out. It's uh, Bamboo Mod by Wave. Mm -hmm. As a, like they, ha they are on Instagram because we follow they, uh, them. Babylon Vape are, yeah. Babylon Vape. Um, and so the web website, babylonvape.ru, is obviously in Russian. Yeah. Google does translate it and using an online price converter. Yeah. I think it was 80 quid for that one. Which is bloody good. Which is good. And Considering that's fully engraved. Yeah. And those two were 75. You just can't go wrong. I mean, I know you've got to wait for them to come from Russia, but what did we what did end up they taking about a week? Well, I don't know when he actually Russia? sent it. I've, I've got the packaging. Do you not? Uh, no, okay. I've got the packaging some. I think it can't I, have been that long, I put long, it in the bin. Awkward. But, yes, it's, no, it's, it's probably in the bin. Probably in the but, bin. But, you know, it, it, it most, it took five weeks. But bad. that was when I when I said to you, Eugene first said to us, we we're just saying, do you yeah. want to do some hardware? And actually was like, yeah. But I don't know how long it took him to get that and blah, blah, blah. But yeah. So you're not going to be waiting, hopefully, more than a month. But no. For that price, can you argue? Exactly, it's what? How much How much is a Rogue? So the clean brass is £160, 174 Ali maybe? And then I know that the copper is 180 quid. Right, that's so... That's just a clean. So we're half price, half and price. that's engraved. And that looks better than a Rogue, personally. I think that looks absolutely stunning. It's very similar to a Rogue. <laughs> it, is very, it is very similar. <laughs> There's a completely different button, it's all different. I mean, but look at that engraving, man. You just don't get that. Rogue buttons are just clear. Yeah. There's not really anything to it other than. Yeah, you, you, you've got to buy extra buttons for Rogue, haven't you? Yeah, and they're like 50 quid a pop. Exactly. You know, but obviously, Rogue is a big, well known brand. I mean, we're not slating Rogue because no, 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 they, they are they're, brilliant. They're amazing mechs, you know what I mean? But we're just using that because obviously that's the biggest brand name everyone's going to know because I think that's probably the best one to compare it to. And the most similar. Yeah. Personally. But I like them. I'm going to be using the heavy one. I'm going to use. I, I, I've, I had to blag it, but I kindly got the uh, engraved one. And if anyone ever sees anyone else using it other than Connor, you have my permission to slap him as hard this as you can. This baby's going on my shelf, mate. <laughs> it's fucking beautiful. But yeah, guys, um, as always, descriptions will be down below. Yeah. Links, everything you need to know. Um, big thank you to Eugene and Babylon Vape. Yeah, and massive Wave, thanks. whoever it is. Amazing. <laughs> We're trying to um, work out who it is. Yeah. Um, it's, Great communication. And you, it, it means a lot to us that we getting these First one. products to yeah. review. You know, it means a lot to us. I am and just saying this is our first proper... Yeah, it is. Not review, but this is our first proper, like, genuine, like, yeah. that we've ever had anything. Because as you guys know, we... We work fucking hard and we've spent a lot yeah, of money. we spend a like, lot of money and, we like, nine times out of ten we sell on what? But you always lose money straight away. So to actually get this is brilliant and we're really we grateful. We ain't selling them. No. <laughs> no, I'm going to have one one for daytime, one for nighttime. And I've got one. <laughs> I've got one for everything. Yep. Yep, we. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Check the links down below. We'll see you next time. If you hit that thumbs up as well, let uh, Babylon Vapor like, know that we are actually doing quite well. See you later. Bye-bye.